as we explore Belfast, a city that's captured our hearts and is about to capture yours. All about starting your day the right way at a spot that's basically an institution McLarnan's Ramble Inn. Oh, McLarnan's, I've heard whispers of this legendary breakfast spot. Whispers don't do it justice. Imagine this, stepping back in time to a cozy historic inn, the aroma of freshly baked soda bread hitting you the moment you walk through the door, and plates piled high with a traditional Ulster fry. It's a feast for the senses. Okay, you had me at Ulster fry. But you know me, I gotta ask about the details. What's the vibe like? Is it one of those super trendy spots or more of a hidden gem? It's got a charming, rustic vibe, think exposed beams, crackling fireplaces, that kind of cozy, welcoming atmosphere that just makes you wanna settle in and savor every bite. Absolutely do not do tipping here. Talk about awkward, am I right? Uh huh. Yeah, can definitely backfire if you're not careful. Totally. And that's kind of what we're diving into today. So we had a listener write in, told us about this very scenario. Happened at a spot called the Ramble Inn. It's over in Northern Ireland. Get this. They straight up, no kidding, don't accept tips. Like, <laughs> at all. Not even a little keep the change kind of deal. No trip to Belfast is complete without a visit to the Grand Dame herself. Belfast City Hall. She's an architectural marvel, a stunning example of Victorian grandeur right in the heart of the city. City Hall it is. Is it one of those walk around and admire it from the outside type deals, or can we actually go inside? Oh, you absolutely have to venture inside. Picture this. You walk through those massive bronze doors, and suddenly you're surrounded by stained glass windows, marble staircases, and ornate ceilings. It's like stepping back in time. I'm already picturing the Instagram photos. Any particular must-sees inside City Hall? Definitely check out the Grand Staircase. It's a popular spot for photos. And keep an eye out for the portraits of past Lord Mayors lining the walls. Talk about a history lesson. Ooh, I love a good portrait gallery, especially when it's steeped in history. Now, for someone who wants to get a real feel for the city's layout, what would you recommend? Easy. Hop on a Billfast bus tour. It's the perfect way to get your bearings and see all the highlights without wearing yourself out. Plus, you get a local's perspective from the guide, which is always a bonus. Bus tour it is. Efficient and informative. I'm all about it. Speaking of informative, let's talk landmarks. What architectural gems should we add to our must-see list? Well, you can't miss St. Anne's Cathedral. It's an iconic landmark and a stunning example of Gothic architecture. St. Anne's. All right, adding that to the list. Tell me, what makes it so special? First of all, its sheer size is impressive. Wait till you see the scale of it as you approach. But beyond that, the intricate details, the stained glass windows that bathe the interior in a kaleidoscope of colors, the soaring ceilings, it's truly awe-inspiring. Okay, I'm getting chills just imagining it. <laughs> and it's right in the city center, so easy to get to. Exactly. It's tough to miss, honestly. And while you're in the area, take a stroll through the streets surrounding St. Patrick's Church. It's just a stone's throw from St. Anne's. Two churches in close proximity. What's the story there? It's a testament to Belfast's rich and diverse history. Remember, this is a city that's been shaped by different faiths and traditions over the centuries, and you see that reflected in its architecture and its neighborhoods. Okay, so we've got grand cathedrals, charming alleyways. The contrast is amazing. Now, shifting gears a bit, I have to ask about a spot that caught my eye, the University Road Moravian Church. The architecture looks so unique. It is unique. The Moravians, they were known for their craftsmanship, their community-focused living, and their relatively simple lifestyle. And their churches really reflect that ethos. Simple but stunning. That's a winning combination. What about the Ulster Museum? It's on the list, but give me the lowdown. The Ulster Museum is your one-stop shop for all things art, history, and natural sciences. They've got everything from dinosaur skeletons to Picassos. Wait, dinosaurs and Picasso in one place? Okay, I'm sold. That's quite the range. It's a fantastic place to lose yourself for a few hours, and when you're ready for a change of pace, step outside, and you're right in the Botanic Gardens. Speaking of gardens, those are next on our itinerary, right? Tell me more about them. Imagine this. Lush greenery, colorful blooms, winding pathways, and even a Victorian palm house. It's an oasis of calm right in the middle of the city. The perfect place to relax, recharge, and maybe enjoy a picnic lunch. A picnic in the botanic garden sounds like the perfect way to unwind after a morning of exploring. All right, we've covered history, architecture, culture. Can't forget about a little bit of royal treatment, right? We have to talk about Belfast Castle. Ah, uh, yes, the Cat Castle, as the locals affectionately call it. Cat Castle. Oh. Okay, you've piqued my interest. <laughs> Let's just say it involves some rather charming feline-inspired artwork. But I won't spoil the surprise. You'll have to see it for yourself. 
All right, you're killing me. I guess some secrets are best discovered in person. So after a long day of exploring, we're going to need a hearty meal. Where are we headed for dinner? For a true taste of modern Irish cuisine, head to the Chester. It's got a warm, inviting atmosphere, and the food is absolutely divine. Modern Irish cuisine, okay. Is there anything in particular that you'd recommend ordering? I'm always up for trying something new. They're known for their locally sourced ingredients and creative dishes. But if you're looking for a recommendation, their seafood chowder is a must try. Absolutely delicious. All right, seafood chowder it is. Now, before we wrap up this epic Belfast adventure, any final tips or recommendations for our listeners? Just this. Belfast is a city best experienced with an open mind and a sense of adventure. Soak up the history, embrace the culture, and don't be afraid to strike up a conversation with the locals. You'll find them to be some of the friendliest people you'll ever meet. And don't forget to take advantage of that fantastic complimentary breakfast at the Holiday Inn Express Belfast City if you're looking for a budget-friendly option. It's always nice to start your day with a delicious, free meal. Absolutely. It's the perfect way to fuel up for a day of exploring. This has been incredible.